Hi there, Claudia Hess with Hess Art Advisory back again for our next installment of Is It Trash or Treasure? and the story of Betsy's Candlesticks. As you know, she has quite a few things like we all do. So today we're gonna focus on three sets of them. Um, she, Betsy's been told that these wonderful antiques she's inherited over the years are very valuable. Her family came over from the Mayflower and things have been passed on generation to generation. And probably like many of you, she had an aunt that was a world traveler. And this aunt brought and picked up things and gave them, passed them down the line as well. And always told Betsy, these are very, very valuable. So she kind of doesn't even know where to start with getting a good grip on what she has and their values. So she called me in to help her. Uh, so let's take this up a notch and as an art appraiser or art detective, as I refer to myself, I've got to gather a lot of clues to be able to start in on valuing these. Um, so even though you hear a lot of stories about items, what we really need to do is take a close look at them. So there are six things I take into consideration when I evaluate uh, collections. And the first one is condition. You know how they say in the real estate market, location, location, location. Well, for us in the appraising world, it's condition, condition, condition. That really has an important aspect to it in terms of valuations because perfect things always get greater prices than imperfect things. And sometimes even that depends on age because if something is very, very old, well, maybe a little nick or scratch might be okay, but in general, condition is really, really important. So we're looking at things, we're turning them upside down, we're really assessing how the condition will bear out on their value. So we've chatted about condition. Let's think about demand. What is even the demand for these kind of candlesticks on the market? You know, people on the East Coast tend to collect antiques more than people on the West Coast. And we all have differences in decorating styles, and what's important to us. So that has a big bearing on what is the demand for these candlesticks and that will inform their value. Um, third of these six is provenance. And provenance is just a fancy word of saying who has owned these candlesticks before. And the reason that's important is perhaps a famous person owned them, did Ben Franklin owned these candlesticks? Uh, were they stolen? Um, you also might recall a story about Steve Wynn, that casino mogul from Las Vegas, as he put his elbow through a priceless Picasso painting. You would think that that is uh, pretty bad for its condition, but since he's so famous and that story got so much media play, it actually auctioned off for a really high price. So that's what we call the celebrity influence on the provenance. So we've covered condition, demand, and provenance. So if you stick with us for our next installment, we'll cover three more value characteristics that we use to value collections. And you can also go to hessartadvisory.com if this has you curious about your things. So stay in touch and see you for the next installment.